Sup my dudes, Valk here. Today I'm going to be putting out a long awaited video showcasing my super invested, hyper invested C6 Shao, showcasing all the artifacts, everything I have for him so you guys can see everything that you want. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. So straight up, the very first thing I want to make aware for everybody is I use Skyward Spine simply because I don't really want Primordial Jade Wing Spear because of the stats that I have. I'm going to try to get Primordial Jade Wing Spear. I'm going to hit the pity once on that weapon banner. If I get the Wing Spear, I'll build it just to test it, just to show you guys. But yeah, let's get into these details and why exactly I do not want the Primordial Jade Wing Spear. But... Uh, first thing I want to make note, my attack is 2256, and yeah, let's open up this little tab here. So crit rate is 80.5%, Skyward Spine's adding 10% to that crit rate. Um, so whenever I switch over to like Primal Jade Wingspear or Staff of Helma even, it's going to drop down to 70%. Crit damage is 167.4%, energy recharge is 159.4%. And then we go down, Animo Damage Bonus is 62%. So I'm going to go over the artifacts really quick, because once people see that, they go, what the hell are your artifacts? They're on steroids. I have very, very good artifacts for Xiao. Um, of course, there's going to be people that have better artifacts, but this is what I got. Yeah, there's a little bit of improvement I can do on my artifacts, but all in all, I, I did pretty good on the artifacts. I'm really happy with the way everything came out. And once I get Staff of Helma with him, he's going to be an absolute monster. Bentel Staff of Helma. Right now, I use Skyward Spine. He's C6, as you guys can tell, um, as you guys have seen in the videos. Now, this is where the investment is kind of nutty. I have level 10, level 13, level 11 on the talents. I'm only four Shadows of the Warrior away from him being fully maxed out and fully invested in. And then he'll be good to go. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the good old Ancient Primo Geo Bishop. This is going to be the first boss I fight. I'm going to fight this, Child Devalin. Gonna do a domain, then gonna do floor 12, so you guys can see exactly what it looks like with investment. Because I know I have memed a lot. I know I've made a lot of meme videos about um, the investment and stuff like that. I've made a lot of meme videos using level 1 weapons and stuff, and you guys haven't really seen me do an actual weapon. But yeah, I kind of messed up there right there. I really should have um, done three dashes first, so the dashes would be recharging while I'm in the middle of ult. But we're good. We're moving. There we go, we do that, so we can uh, trigger trigger the parry. And this is why we use Gene. So we can do this, we pop this, we do this. We parry, parry again, that should be enough for ult. Whenever people ask why I use Bida support, that's why. We have a shield up, so I wasn't worried about it. I'm jumping high on purpose here so I can get the high plunge damage instead of just going for really fast rotations. But yeah, that's the Primo Geo Bishop. Next, we're going to move over to the child. All right, so now we're doing child. First thing I'm going to do is burn my three stacks of my dash. He always likes to parry them because he's rude. He won't just let me beat him up. So now we're going to pop Sincho's ult so we can just start dealing some damage. Deal some damage here. Bop. We use Gene here. To make sure we can have ult here for a second phase, which is about to happen in a second. Yeah. You guys can see I'm doing just just doing low plunges for fast damage rotations. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go on to phase three now. Very, very fast. He's an absolute monster. I'm sure you guys have seen my, like, C6 Xiao versus um, the Weekly Bosses video, if you guys watch my videos, but yeah. Absolute monster. I love Xiao. Boop. 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 There we go. We generate all that energy really fast. Do this. That's a nice little bug. Like, he doesn't wear the mask during the uh, Phase 3 child fight. But yeah, you can see he just absolutely demolished child. So next, we're going to go over to Devalin. Alright, so now we're going to Devalin. And we're going to go ahead and beat Devalin up. 
And you guys will get to just see how ridiculous our boy can be. So yeah. Just gotta wait for Devalon to land, because you guys know how Devalon is. He's rude. Dun 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 I'm going to try something a little different from what I normally do. I'm going to try to uh, save my dashes this time and try to break them down in other ways. That way I can just try to do something pretty pretty interesting that I haven't done at all yet. There we go. We broke that. And now we jump up. Two, three. And now we start the plunging. And he's dead. <laughs> so next thing we're going to do with Zhao here is we're going to go run a domain. Alright, so now for this we're going to bring Venti so we can group them up. Um, all I got to say for him in Domains and Abyss is uh, don't blink. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this with Venti. Then we pop this. Now we one, two, three. One, two, there we go, and it's over. <laughs> Hopefully, um, this shows you guys, and like I said, keep in mind, I'm using a Skyward Spine. This is by far not his best in slot weapon. There are better weapons for him, even for me right now, Primordial Jade Wingsphere would be a better option, but like I said, because of my crit, I'm not stressing it too, too much. Anyways, let's go ahead now. I'm going to take him into one of the most requested floors, 11-2 Abyss. I'm going to start with 11-1 so you guys can see just how absurd he is. Um, and then we'll go into 11-2, so yeah, let's get into it. Bop, and a lot of dashing going on here. And even more dashing now. I can't pay attention to what he's doing. I didn't hit two there. I gotta make sure I'm hitting at least two. There we go. We're gonna hit this with Gene. Hit this again. Make sure to ult before the animal particles hit us. Okay. Now we wait. We wanna pop this one first. Okay. Now we can go crazy. And we can just keep doing this over and over. Over and over and over, and that's how Shao works. Anyways, next up is 11-2. So now we're in the faded floor, the floor everyone always wants me to run. 11-2, um, and I'll show you guys how he does in it. So first thing we're going to do is bounce these guys around a little bit. You know, bully bully a little bit. Deal some damage. And we want to get her ult off first. Then we're going to do this, generate some particles for Shao, go ahead and ult with him, and now everything's going to die. First, we got to make sure we hit more than one enemy, and we can just start going nuts with it. You guys can see, he's basically just one-shotting everything. And yeah. This is Shao. <laughs> And there you go. That's 11 2, one side with Shao. As you guys can see, we ended, I don't know how much, yeah, about 70% or so. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the showcase with my C6 Shao. He's super fun to play. Do I recommend getting C6, though? Hell no. I never recommend chasing a C6 on a 5 star. It costs me around $1,200 to do it. It's not worth it. It's just a character in a video game. I do YouTube for a living now, so I want to make sure to make that very clear. It's not worth it to get C6. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching. As always, peace.